So hi, my name is Helena, and I'm going to present from data to ultimate decision making, a data-driven probabilistic machine learning approach to decision support for patients with sepsis. So sepsis is one of the most life-threatening condition diseases because it's a bacterial infection that somehow got into the bloodstream and now it's all over the body. So what, met, what in the medical field, this is attacked by giving a lot of antibiotics, but the government spent millions of dollars because there there is no like research that, that supports which it, which treatment is the best because it, it, due to the fast deterioration of the patient there is not enough time to acquire data so data lately in every field has become a battle for the quality of knowledge and also now there is a need to apply that knowledge into decision making in the, the medical so the hypothesis of this project was if develop, develop, developing a data model will interfere the probability in which a patient will recover better and faster and also which treatment will they be able to get uh, more benefit for. And also if we can predict the outcome, so if, if they will get better and how long will that take, but also if they're more likely to die. So they took a sample of... Uh, 1,492 patients from the University of California, Davis, and they collected all their data. So what I'm telling all the data is like the temperature, they say they're on uh, their age, uh, all the antibiotics, they're allergic, and it, they all took into account. So and then I want to drive your attention here. So this is called an action state space. So what they actually, they developed this by using micro decision process, and it's a system that a given a certain state and an action, it, takes, it, it, it gives you an output and what will be the next recommendation and how the patient will get healthier in a different way. But this program is also recognizing patterns to apply them later with other patients and is just like constantly learning new things. But also it's not the machine, but the doctors who actually have experience in, in this topic that also uh, recognize whether the machine is right or wrong and put that input into the patients. So they created this system that is called Seven Decision Support. And the goal is having uh, the patient in certain state and drive it to a healthy state. However, this program also measures the likelihood of how the patient will get better and how long and if they have some mortality rate. Um, so the, the way that they do that, they use a micro decision process. And it's just basically saying that um, it, it just depends on the state and the decision taken at that moment that the next step will be. And all the state reward or state action is just an algorithm that is derived from the micro decision process. And is it just um, saying that there are some dependent variables and independent variables, they're all interconnected. And Mark Love based his research in Bernoulli, uh, Bernoulli's equation, which referred to what is the more uh, probable, the, the more probability thing, probable thing that will happen, or the probability of so like larger numbers, we say. So what they found out that they actually with this uh, code, uh, 94, the cases got better, and it was like really accurate. So is this that something is significant, or is uh, the p the p value is 0 0.5 and above, and then they found out that the 48 percent of um, in the length of stay uh, was actually uh, uh, saved by the machine first, and also uh, the mortality rate, the probability of that happening was really high as well. So in the conclusions, there is a huge problem right now that the people needs to gather more data and be more problems specifically in the medical field, that will be cost beneficial not only for the insurances, for the patients, and for the doctors and the hospitals as well. And now with the machine learning technology, we, we want to implement three things, learning, multi-agent systems, and reasoning that could later on lead to better, better approach and actually could tell people's lives in not only this field, but in any field.